exist. And when a star collapses, a singularity is inevitable. Topology doesn't bother with the messy stuff about particles and how they move, it's about how things connect. Big thinking. Big, bold thinking. It takes you to places where the rules say you can't go. And it's fast. You say that it's fast. I've tried to be truthful with you. I'm not going to stop now. There's nothing more we can do. There's no treatments to it. They've washed their hands of him. We've got to carry on, Frank. Carry on. Carry on. We have to do a lot more than carry on. Vitamin B, hydroxycobalamin, steroids. I haven't washed my hands of you. They're wrong. You understand? They're wrong, the lot of them. You don't ever talk about his illness. He doesn't speak about it. We respect that. It's simple, really. What do you think of me? I mean, what do you think I should do? Oh, sorry, that's not fair. Don't answer, George. <sighs> you probably think I should take myself off back to St Albans and look for a nice husband. I think it's terrific you don't talk about his illness. children work a life together the impossible Galileo, and what you said about him frightening people. <laughs> Imagine what it must have felt like to be told that the sun didn't go around the earth. Horrible. Or that the earth isn't flat. Oh, it is, isn't it? Flat, Jane? Don't tell me it isn't flat. Oh no, oh no. If, 
If you look me in the eye now and told me it isn't flat, I, I don't know what I'd do. I'd be, I'd be inconsolable, totally desolate. Stephen? Stephen! Did you have any idea what it might be? Did you think you knew? Or was it just guessing? Is that what you're trying to say? A Nobel Prize for guesswork? Is that the story you're after? Let me tell you something. Are we still filming? Good. Good. In 1939, my mother and father put me on a train filled with Jewish children heading to England. Kinder transport. Are you okay? The Nazis were letting some children go. Not the adults, just some children. At the station, my mother looked into my face and said for me to look out for my little brother, not to let our suitcase out of my sight, and don't lose your name tag. Arno Penzias, here. You lose your name tag, you lose your name, and you lose everything. And she went. How old were you? I was six. Did you see her again? I was six, my little brother was five. She didn't cry. She made like it was a normal thing, and not crying was part of that. Can you imagine how hard it must have been not to cry? To put your boys on a train like that and not to cry. I've hated suitcases ever since. He likes to unpack. My mother and my father got out. Six months later, we sailed for America together. England saved my life. America gave me a brand new one. But I never, I never dreamed of this happening. We discovered this. We found this. We discovered this. What is it? Clark. It was fine when I got it, when I went to America and it started to run backwards. It stops my students getting too complacent about the nature of time. I don't know why I came here, it's just... The music. Bach didn't finish it. He died before he finished it. But it's so perfect. Everything he's done before is so perfect. It's as if it doesn't end. You can hear it after it stops. Listen. Forward here. You don't know what's going to happen next. Sometimes I tell my husband about it, but he doesn't listen. 
He just says, it's platform one. It's the Cambridge platform. Of course strange things are going to happen. It's the platform for Cambridge. Nobody else knows it's there apart from Cambridge types. Backwards, backwards. Yes, dear. You reverse time. Of course you reverse the direction of time. Yes. Are you a Cambridge time? Yes. And I love you deeply and forever. Time. Causing the light rays, bending the light rays towards each other. Look, the past is pear shaped. What are you saying? What if the whole of the universe were trapped in a region whose boundary shrinks to zero? A singularity, nothingness. Sure, zero. Works for collapsing dying stars. It proves that a singularity must exist. What if it works for this? Could it work, Roger? What would it mean if it did? A collapse and reverse. Which is? An explosion. Bye. century. He calculated the date of the start of the universe. How? By adding up all the ages of people in the Old Testament. <laughs> <laughs> and how old is the universe? It started at some point in the night of the 22nd of October, 4004 BC. <laughs> so old. So old. something I want to ask you. Where was I going when I saw you at the station? No. Stephen? Are you all right? Fine. The thing is, I was wondering whether you consider marrying me. Probably you want time to think about it. I love you. Does that mean you're about to say no? Time. Time to think. 